You should stay a while. This is too crazy. I'm not alone. It's not even safe enough to go into our own My bedroom. buddy Byron's just... He's taking a shit. <laughs> shit right on your head. I know what you are. I know what you are. That makes one of us. Name's Jacob. Heard you need some help. Help? That's what she... You're here to steal just like her. Ha! Next thing you'll say is that I can trust you too. Trust no one. Who stole from you? Denise! She came in when I wasn't here. Without my permission. And she stole the bag that was right underneath my bed and, and she can't do that. That's wrong. Hey, calm your wobble. I'll help. What's your name? Luther. Cool name. Look, I'll have a chat with Denise. Sort this out, yeah? No, she wants that. She wants you to talk. Then she'll steal your teeth. And you won't even get a nickel. I'm not like her. My buddy Byron, he'll see you right. Jolly good. You stay put. Yeah, what? I just ran into a lovely local resident called Luther. Ugh, no, you ran into a mess called Luther. That boy's on random shuffle. He said you took his bag. He's inconsolable. That bag was stinking. Ava and Ken were bitching so bad I threw it out. Hmm, stinky bag. What was making the stink? I do not want to know. Couldn't get near it without gagging. I just tossed it down the trash chute. Look, the boy's freaking people out. I'm gonna track this bag down, see what we can do. Whatever, go knock yourself out. But if he doesn't calm down, he's going down the chute too. Luther's on his last chance. Week's worth of trash. Searching for the right stink amidst a sea of stink. If you're watching now, Mum, this is a temporary career diversion. Nothing but rubbish. Oh. 
Nothing here either. <laughs> One stinky bag. Ooh, bloody hell. Denise wasn't kidding. Hell, I'm practically carrying a big bag of meat bait. Hey, wait a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Denise is not going to be happy. Jeez. Yes, yes! He wants Stinky back. You actually... You did it? Thank you. This is... This is Byron. You guys... Met? Not face to face, no. Byron's a hell of a guy, hey? You know, he's he's always got your back. You could take on anything, you know? <laughs> Best goddamn friend I ever had. Thanks for bringing him back. It's gonna be okay now. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> oh, I'll give you some privacy. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, your reward. Delightful. As promised. With our heartfelt thanks. Yeah, bring it in, man. <laughs> That's enough looking at anatomical models, considering the circumstances. You know, you're like... You're good at this. You, you're good at, um... Apocalypses... This. Yeah, I am. Finally found my calling. But I'm... <laughs> hey, I'm not. Roxy and me? Staying out of trouble is like a full-time job, man. I've only ever been really good at one thing, and... Pfft, I barely even do it anymore. Got some whiskey? <laughs> Man, you guys inspired some of the worst fan art in history. Ouch. A and exactly. Like, what have we done lately? I gotta find that spark again, man. Get back in touch with the gods instead of just the whiskey. Oh, Farouk. Bless you. Farouk's our producer. He lives next door down a hill, like, totally obsessive about discographies. Collects every master tape and unreleased track you could imagine, including ours. Hey, some of those had real promise. I wonder if... maybe sample them? Hey, I I'll be right back, man. Tell Roxy not to worry. Steady, you're a baked bean, not an apocalypsis ing bean. I'm not? No. We both know I'm the player, the slayer, the soothsayer. You can use that if you want. I'll go get the tapes. Oh, kick ass! If Farouk's not home, just ask his boyfriend Dave to show you around. Tell him I sent you. Ricky, nobody will be home, even if they are, if you know what I mean. I'm feeling it.
Up and over. Lovely. You have a nap, mate. I'll let myself in. Got some whiskey master tapes and whatever other fancy swag I like the look of. Yes! One priceless original. <laughs> Love what you've done with the place, boys. Second session tape. Every recording studio has its entourage. Ugh! <laughs> 
That'll do nicely, Madam Brisley. Before you ask, I do not bring pizza. Oh, hey. I don't remember calling a... Do we have an interview scheduled? No. We have a thank JJ for being a hero scheduled. Three session tapes from Farouk's place. Farouk is dead. Obviously. Farouk's? Oh, man. Dave's gonna be, like, heartbroken. No, he isn't. He's dead, too. Oh, sad note, man. Like, ballad-worthy. There was this one track we laid down and... Hey, wait. D did you say master tapes? I was just thinking about getting those back. How do you even get dressed in the morning? No, don't answer that. This is fucking awesome, man. I'm gonna listen to them right away. I oh, there's some gems on here, you know? Some real gems. I... Uh, I think... Hey, thanks. You're like a guardian angel of rock. Or a player, slayer, and soothsayer, yeah? Those are lyrics right there. For a rock song, perhaps? About a lone, swaggering hero with excellent hair. On his list, you'll find a word. Sweetest thing. Fly. 